but he turned the whole franchise around. I was the only player that really started with him. I guess, uh, you know, in, in, in his early years, he joined the ball club uh, in the mid sixties. And, and I was there already for a couple of years, but uh, he turned a losing laughing stock of guys into an organization right away. He brought professionalism with him. He was very professional on and off the field. Uh, he brought class. And when he joined the organization, we knew we had a star from day one. The day first day he stepped onto the field at Shea Stadium, we knew a star was born. That song was written for him. And, of course, his career proved us right. You know, I've spent more time with Tom than anybody. So, I mean, I, I'm really going to miss him. And I think the organization – uh, is certainly at a loss. There's no joy in Metsville tonight when you lose your franchise. You know, you think about what this guy did in his career. Um, you, you know, I remember when he showed up, and, and he was Hall of Fame stuff and a, a Hall of Fame confidence and, and the way he carried himself. He was Hall of Fame from day one. We don't have 1969 without Tom Seaver, and I, I was – so sorry he couldn't be there at the 50th celebration at City when they when they named you know Tom Seaver 41 Tom Seaver way you know um, you just knew when you know when Seaver went out there you know he you get him you get him three runs and 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 and, and you got a real good chance to win and and you know and he you know he was a human being. But but believe me, the confidence he brought to the mound and, and, and the stuff he took out there on a daily basis, and he didn't miss too many starts. What's interesting, guys, is that I, I got a chance to see the greatness of Tom as a pitcher because I played against him. I came up with Cincinnati, and he was a terrific pitcher in 1967, and I batted against him and then got over to be a teammate with him and, and really got a chance to appreciate his greatness uh, at that point too. And, and what's really interesting is when I got a chance to play first base when he was pitching, as opposed to the outfield, which, which might seem a little strange, but you know, you get in the outfield and you're still away from that, the action in the middle of the, of the diamond. But when you get to play first base and you watch somebody in, in, the, in the stretch or the wind up and you see them firsthand, it's a whole different story. And I got a, I got a chance to really appreciate how great he was. And uh, he was just a terrific pitcher. I, I don't I think I can probably count on one hand the number of times I saw him get hit hard in the game. And, uh, you know, the, the greatness that he had as a, as a player was measured by also the greatness he was as a person. And, you know, I'm just in shock, even though I knew he was it was not well, that uh, we just lost this tremendous, tremendous person and, and one of the greatest pitchers. I think history will show that he's one of the greatest pitchers ever to, to put on a uniform in Major League Baseball. There's an incredible stat out there. It's over 200 and something games where he pitched seven innings or less and only gave up one run. I mean, he was just an incredible pitcher. And when you played behind him, you had to be on your toes because you knew that every pitch was going to be around the plate. He was a, he was truly a, a, a magnificent pitcher. You know, to play with him was an honor for me. And he was such an integral part of that 1969 team and, and deserves every honor he got. And, of course, when he was uh, went into the Hall of Fame, I mean, uh, certainly deserving there. And 